Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. Today, I'm gonna launch a very brand new topic in my channel, and that is how to remove your duplicate values uh, from the list. And from now on, I will be also uploading some more videos on the same topic yet in different scenarios, such as how to remove the same duplicate values from a cell of your Excel file as well as from the attribute table of your ArcGIS. So to get no notified of all the upcoming videos and tutorials, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell icon. So now without further delay, let's straight away jump into our tutorial. For this tutorial purpose particularly, I'm gonna use Jupyter Notebook version 6.1.4 and it's freely available in Anaconda Navigator. You can use it after getting downloaded and installed to your PC. As I have already done this, this, so to make it appear in my interface, you have to just click the launch button. It will take some while and afterwards it uh, automatically will be added to your interface. Look at this. Uh, this is the uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, real interface. Now to uh, get it started with the coding, first of all, you need to go to Python 3. Now we are all set to start our coding. And let me remind you once again that the main purpose of this tutorial is to uh, detect or identify some duplicate values uh, in a list. So first of all, to get that value, we need to create a list that, that will uh, include both duplicate value and uh, unique value as well. So let's name the list as uh, the list before duplicate. Okay. To create a list, uh, it's an obvious choice to use a third bucket. Okay, sorry, third bucket. So let's just assume or put uh, some random value one, nine, eight, four, uh, nine once again, six, eight once again to duplicate value I have already inserted. And let's uh, put some higher value, for example, 78, mm, 5, and 86, let's say. Okay. Uh, all value I have inserted, those are on the numbers on integer. Let's uh, call up with some mm, string value as well, I mean name. That will make more sense. When it comes to put name, I will be automatically biased to put my channel name and that is you all of you know that uh, my channel name is that long coder so let's put that one here uh, lat long coder okay should be an in inverted comma now once again it will be followed by let's say my nickname Ikram okay uh, so I K R A Kram and once again uh, let's put the channel name here spelling mistake just capitalize this one and copy here so we are all done with uh, I mean assigning the values that should be put in a list called delist or duplicate uh, list. Now, our next task is to assign another list that would be unique or distinct. So, uh, and that, uh, that list should be put as empty because the value should be put. So now its status is empty. Let's name it uh, distinct. This uh, thing. distinct. Sorry, distinct. Once again, mm, third bucket. Okay, put it empty. 
first comment that we are going to use as for loop for uh, a third variable that I am going to use uh, as x for x in b list okay put a column sorry put a column and under it I am going to use if conditional if x not in distinct list so copy it and paste here put the column if x not in distinct what comes okay another followed command as append I mean we are intending to add something that would be I mean under this common I mean if x not in the distinct then we are going to use another comment as addition uh, that is you uh, distinct append x that means if x not in the distinct value then x should be added to distinct list and to add that x in distinct distinct list uh, we are required to use this keyword called append in default python okay now we are all set to go just one click away to hit the run button yeah we have also to call upon print 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 we are going to call or create a new list that is called this thing so now uh, we have uh, completed our coding before hitting the run button let me just briefly explain how uh, for loop under it if conditional uh, work together uh, let's say for loop is exactly uh, in the command to uh, select or to identify each and every element to delist I mean it just uh, goes to each and every element or component component in this list then if comes up to select the value which is unique I mean it every time checks whether any value is already put if that value is already put in distinct list it does not include that one and this is how it creates a list that is unique that is not a duplicate so uh, in summary to boil down it for loop works for choosing each and every value and if loop, uh, if conditional works for sorting out or checking those values which are unique okay now if I just run the um, function look at this here is the result and each element included here is absolutely or I mean no doubt it's a unique one nine eight four six seventy eight five eighty six that long coder here that was two times repeated here one time I mean unique and look at this mm, eight eight was repeated uh, two times here uh, just a unique 78 was unique here is unique uh, what was the uh, other repeated one uh, eight nine okay look at this nine was repeated two times here nine just uh, appeared once so this is how we can create a unique list using for loop under it if conditional now I'm going to show you another alternative way that might have saved you your time uh, and refrain you uh, from coding such a complicated a bit complicated might have a seeming to you 
uh, in that way uh, I will be using just the set concept and that will no longer require you uh, to follow all this for loop if loop and etc et so to do so first of all I just wanna remind you the definition of this set what is the definition of this set set is nothing but the collection of distinct components or object here that things uh, uh, I'm going to use as a concept so let's extend our cell in Jupyter notebook to do so uh, just click the uh, plus okay so in here we will just write two line course instead of all this complicated one to do so just copy this one and paste here equal third set sorry okay and put this list here so the list is no longer uh, right now a list it's right now converted to a set so outcome of set would be uh, must be uh, a unique I mean a unique collection of objects or values so now if I just print the distinct list converted into set then I hope I'm gonna get the same result yet in a different way I say it in a different way because uh, the sequence here uh, there was no break in the sequence it remained the same as it was put in the D list okay look at this one nine then eight same as in the outcome but here the element is absolutely same but the sequence or the order is uh, different because say it follows the uh, I mean order one four five six eight seven and 86 it's a different case I will explain in a later video then uh, Ikram uh, I comes up I, I mean uh, I comes before L that's why I is here then L then 86 so uh, all together uh, this is really an amazing thing we can duplicate we can detect the duplicate value and remove that one and create a new unique uh, I mean list so that's how uh, we can use Python concept for loop I mean if loop and as well as set concept however between these two I will strongly recommend you to learn and settle down on the first one I mean using for loop and if conditional why because it's very conceptual as well as understandable and eventually it's gonna build up a strong foundation knowledge of Python on you so that's uh, all for the time being I hope you guys have liked my video if you have please do subscribe to my channel I'll come up with another new video till then bye bye Allah Hafiz